Hey guys, it's Call of Duty Gamer here. In this video, I have an M16 Warpig gameplay. This is originally supposed to be a commentary, and I recorded three different live commentaries. My Elgato oh has been really bugging me lately, like a lot. Like, it's been deleting footage, it's been, like, my mic's been messing up, and I don't even know, maybe I should, like, call Elgato, ask for a new one or something. But at the time, sort of trying to work around it. So my mic messed up on this one. And the game volume's way louder than my voice. You can't even hear my voice as I pick up speakies right here. But I will just commentate over this gameplay. I sort of cut it so you can see the good parts of it. Oh yeah, the legendary M16 Warp. It has plus one range, plus one accuracy, and minus one handling, which I would take any day of the week. Uh, this gun was terrible, and I mean terrible when it first came out. But now it's actually one of the better guns in the game, which I really do like. I like that they buffed it. They buffed it right away, and I know I'm a bit late to the M16 party because it came out like a month and a half ago. But Black Ops 3 coming out, uh, my friend got the M16, and I was like, I might as well do a video on it before Black Ops 3 comes out because I probably won't be going back to Advanced Warfare on this channel for a very long time, if ever, uh, once Black Ops 3 comes out. So... Yeah, the, it's the M16 Warpig. I do really well in this gameplay on Biolab, which you wouldn't think you'd do well with a long-range gun like this. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to speed up right here because I'm about to get my Warpig, but I sort of sit in this corner for a while because I don't want to run out uh, and die, but I end up getting this kill to get my Warbird, and we're going acti to obviously activate it. And then when I hop up here to help my teammates cap this objective, I get shotgunned by that guy who died right away after he shotgunned me. But I really do like this gun. It kind of sucks that my friend has it and I don't because I fell in love with it right away. If you guys do want to see a bit more Advanced Warfare content, again, don't forget to subscribe. But if you, again, subscribe if you want to see a ton of Black Ops 3 content. I will have so much Black Ops 3 content coming out when the game launches. Yeah, I'm probably going to do a campaign stream right when the game comes out. I'm not even sure if I have streaming capabilities on this channel. If I don't, I will do it on my main channel, Laser Gaming. But I want to do a campaign stream. And then I'd probably just cut cut up the individual missions and put it on this channel. And if it doesn't, if it, it works out where I can stream it, I will just stream the campaign the first night that it comes out. Then I will do a campaign walkthrough the rest of the days. But yeah, I'm so hyped for the Black Ops 3 campaign. It looks a little bit depressing based on the commercials and stuff like that. But uh, it, if it's anything like the Black Ops 1 and 2 campaigns, I will be very happy. So we're going to cut it here too. Th okay, this gun, it's just so good. It has like minimal recoil. And if you're wondering, I am running the Quick Draw, I believe. Quick Draw. Um... And red dot sight. Yeah, I think just quick draw and red dot sight. I couldn't run three attachments if I had all of these score streaks, but I, I'm trying to think. I may also be running four grip. Not 100% sure what I'm running in this gameplay, but it does well for me. I end up almost getting a 3 KD by the end of this game, and I get a ton of kills. It's a lot more impressive when it's live, obviously, but. A capture card's an idiot, and it's actually been bugging me so much lately. <laughs> it's been bugging me a lot. But uh, thank you guys for all the support on my videos, too. My videos on this channel get a ton of support, which I just really appreciate. Uh, I'd even say more support than Laser Gaming, my main channel. Like, they just get more views per subscriber. Like, half of my subscriber subscribers watch, like, every single one of my videos on this channel. And Laser Gaming is, like, one out of every ten of my subscribers watches a video. Which is a fairly normal rate as far as YouTube goes. If you look at bigger channels, they get, like, one-tenth of their subs. But I just love how supportive you guys are of this channel. And I just do really appreciate every like that you put on the video. Every time you comment. And all the feedback you give me. I just really do appreciate it. But uh, we're pushing A objective right now. And I accidentally jump off because I wanted to pick up that S12 whirlwind. And then I get taken out <laughs> by that missile strike. But uh, I run my UAV support all the time. Just because even if you're having a bad game. You can still get the UAV support and do well. So I pick up a nice little two piece there. And I just see the enemies are flooding into this room. But I wasn't able to get. I tried to lie down. 
but I wasn't able to lie down on time. Before, before like, I kill me, obviously. Now, I shot into that room, but there was a guy on a turret, there were a ton of guys there, and I somehow picked up that second kill around the corner. But I'm sort of just running around in circles here, and this guy at the XMG is giving me a really hard time, and he whips out his remote turret laser. I thought he was trying to the XMG. He whips out the remote turret laser, but this game's about to end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. But that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.